Welcome to Engage Math, Lesson 32, Problem 3. And I'm going to assume you have already read the word problem, and I'm going to zoom in because there's a lot of work to show, and it would be hard to see without doing that. So what we know is we have the width of the pool as being W, and it just says let W represent the width of the pool. Now we also know that the length is six yards longer than the width. So I can put for the length W plus six. So for part A, where it says write an expression to represent the length, we simply need to write W plus 6. Okay, so now what we have to start with for part B is that we need an equation to represent the area. We know that the area of the fenced-in region is going to be different than the area of the pool because the fenced-in area goes all the way around this outside. So we need to add some numbers in order to get that area. So since each one of the places where there's a border, the border is two yards. So we know that the length right here of the entire fenced in area is going to be the length of the pool W plus six plus two over here plus two over here. So it's going to be W plus six plus four because we have to add two feet here and two feet here. By the same logic, the fenced in area's width is going to be what was the width, W, and then we have to add in two feet, or excuse me, two yards up here and two yards down here. So it's gonna be W plus four. So the length of the fenced in area is going to be W plus six plus four, and I'm going to write that simplify it to w plus 10 so this is the length and the width of the fenced in area not of the pool of the fenced in area is w plus 4. length times width gives us area and we know that the area of the fenced in region is 135. so here's our equation okay let's go to part c so now we have to solve that equation to find the dimensions of the pool. So I'm going to multiply with double distribution the w plus 10 times the w plus 4. So we have w squared plus 4w plus 10w plus 40 equals 135. And we're going to simplify this quadratic equation to w squared plus 14w minus, and since it's 40 minus 135, it's going to be a negative. 95 and that's now equal to zero okay so we now have to think of two numbers that add to 14 and multiply to negative 95 and the two numbers that i'm thinking and you can think it through as well we're going to have a um, we need to have a negative 5 and a positive 19 because negative 5 times 19 is going to be a negative 95 and it also adds to a positive 14. So now I can factor it as w minus 5 times w plus 19. That's a dot, not a negative. w plus 19 equals 0. All right, so now we're ready to solve. So we're going to get w equals 5. The other possibility is that w equals not negative 19. It does not make sense to have a negative width. We can't have a negative 19 as the width of our pool. So we know that W equals 5 is the width of the pool because that's what we originally represented. So the width of the pool is 5. And as we know, we're talking about yards. So the width of the pool is 5 yards. The length of the pool was five more, 6 more than that. We're going to use that expression. So the length of the pool is going to be 11 yards. And then the width of the fenced in region. As we know, I'm going to go back to the original now for this last part. So if we go back to our drawing, remember that the fenced in region has that border all the way around it. So the width was w plus 4. So the width of the fenced in region was going to be or is going to be 9 yards. And the length of the fenced the fenced in region is going to be the answer that we got for w of 5. It's going to be 5 right up here, 5 plus 6 plus 4. So it's going to be um, 5 plus 10, which is going to be 15 yards. And we have found everything that we were re requested to find. Great job. We'll see you next time at Engage Math.